am Veronica. And this is the, the Rich and Wells, Wells Podcast. Podcast. Uh, we're here in Connecticut yeah. without our microphones. <laughs> I left our microphones in New York, um, so we're recording on our phones, and we'll see how it goes. We're going to do our best, okay? Yeah. You're going to hear them breathing the whole time. We, we just have to get something out now, and I've been in Connecticut for a little too long. Yeah. And we have too much to share with you guys to not do this, with, even without the microphones. Yeah. Watch it be a terrible episode. <laughs> going to be like, wait, wait, we listen to the worst one. No. Um, okay, so before we get into like what we're going to talk about today, I have a rant. Go. I can't wait. I love your rants. It's more of just like a, um, a rich part of the rich and well. Mm-hmm. And it's something I've noticed because... Two things. One, I reach out to influencers and creators yeah. for my brands to send them products. And then I also kind of do it as like a side hustle myself. The thing I've noticed is I'm going to have a Kardashian moment. You know the interview where they're just like, It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You- so for example, I reach out to influencers, right? And I know this is like sacrilegious of me. Like I ask them if they're interested in a gifted campaign, mm-hmm. which means I'm not paying them right. money. I'm paying them with product. Right. And some of them don't even respond, which is fine. They're not interested. And some, some people do. And then there's the ones who are just like, I don't do gifted. I'll only do paid. Sure. Totally fine. Imagine how many more paid opportunities they would have if they took it a step further. Yeah. And this this is connected to the meme that you sent me. You have to become more passionate about the marketing of your thing than you do about the thing itself. Mm-hmm. And I told you, Jimmy always tells me, sell the sizzle, not the steak. Yeah. You as an influencer or whatever job you do, like you're the steak. Yeah. The sizzle is like, yes, you, like what? I'm like, but wait, what is the sizzle, though? Yeah. This is the sizzle. Okay. Instead of just saying, I just only do paid. Okay, what what are you going to show me? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not expecting much other than what I've told you. Can you take a picture with this product? Yeah. If you want to get paid, what's the sizzle? What can I expect? Mm -hmm. So just think, if you took, like, two seconds to tell people, like, I do paid, and this is, like, what I could show, this is what I could do with the product. Yeah. Like, maybe I'd be like, oh. Okay. Then I would, how yeah. Much? I mean, I wonder how many messages they get, though, where they might just feel yeah. like it's too much. I'm also reaching out to micro-influencers, which oh, okay, is 5K yeah. and less. Right. It's the IP. <laughs> it just made me think a lot. I think we're in a time, too, where the generation before us has been so much like, go to college, get a job, work, 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 work. Yeah. So then our generation kind of went through this phase and is going through this phase. It's like, our mental health com- comes first and like... Yeah. And it's true, it should come first, but even it people should, who are so passionate about their jobs, if you're so passionate about being a content creator, like, show me. Yeah. Don't just be like, I need money, and it's up to me and my time and my health. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, no. I totally agree with you. I mean, I feel like people don't have a purpose anymore because they're like, oh, I have to think about myself. Yes. But when you're only thinking about yourself all the time, like, that gets stressful. Yeah. And, like, people don't know what you, to do with it, themselves. W- yeah, and then what if you're broke yeah. and trying to, like, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I know it's not, your health is better, well, some people would say. I don't know. I think money, more money, less problems for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't just, like, lay down and chill. Yeah, so I, that was really my rant. Maybe the Kardashians had a point. I don't know. Maybe they do have a point. I do not disagree with you. They are throwing this <laughs> microphone <laughs> We are here talking about biohacking and like how to enhance your health, but we're also two like very hardworking women. <laughs> we're gonna get this podcast up today, okay? This is for you guys if you think about it. Yeah, so... we're trying to get you a yard. <laughs> Let's go. Back to regular schedule, not so much dog breathing. But that was my rant. I appreciate that rant and I agree with you. But so for people that do work too much, yeah. there is a lot of stress that comes with yes. that. A big part of what's being affected by stress is your nervous system. Uh-huh. And it's divided into two separate versions, sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the vagus nerve today. Okay. So I have my aura ring that okay. I've used for a year and a half nonstop, yeah. like every day. And it gives you all of your uh, values and like how you're sleeping and all of that. And I have had a high HRV uh, level. 
Yes. Okay. In the past, like, I don't know, three months, it's just not been going down. So usually when I sleep, and this, I'm not saying this for, like, comparison or anything, but yeah. I'm around, like, 48 um, per minute. 48 heart, like, heartbeats. That's how they... Per minute, right? I think so. Yeah. Sounds right. Sounds right. We're not doctors. So. Yeah. But I've been at, like, between 55 and 60, which is, like, a oh, pretty big increase. Yeah. So I've been trying to figure out what I can do in order to bring it down. Yeah. And from what I've been reading, it seems like stimulating your um, vagus nerve helps. Okay. I mean, there's a few ways you can do that. There's okay. actually, like, five main ways what they say there's also now like actual stimulators that you can attach to your neck oh. and it will like vibrate and stimulate the nerve because it's the biggest nerve that like goes wow. through your brain and all the way like down your uh, spine the first one's meditation okay. um, and just anything where you're purposely like getting more oxygen and breathing and also if you love slow air. down <laughs> I love air I love, love it, it. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you. No, it's Have like, you just gone outside and just like, love it? Oh my god, you know, when like like air smells good, yeah. it's the best. Oh, like spring vibes that we have today. Yeah. Also, if you slow down, you try to do your exhale longer than your inhale, that stimulates the nervous uh, system okay. and the biggest nerve because you're just slowing down your, your whole yeah. body, your pace. Cool. So, meditation is a big one. Hold showers or even just emerging your face into ice yeah can help stimulate and calm you down exercise oh. and mostly so like unfortunately for me uh like running or anything that brings your heart rate up like cardio or... yeah unfortunately i wish okay. i wish it wasn't that way massage Helps. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that one's great. Let's just do that every day. Yeah. Massage, I just still can't believe we're in 2024 and massages are not covered by, like, health insurance. Oh, mine are, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I pay, like, $25, but oh. I can get a massage. It can't be, like, a send, like, I have to go to, like, a physical therapist that do, like, massage uh, okay. with your clothes on. Yeah. It's not really the same thing, but it's... Okay. Close enough. Anything with like your head and your neck and your hands and your feet is like extra beneficial. Okay. Yeah. And then um, music. And this one is actually so interesting too because yeah, you get a better mood from just like listening to music. Mm -hmm. But if you hum, not sing, but if you hum, mm -hmm. it vibrates to stimulate your, your nervous system. So you could just sit there and like hum along while you're taking a cold shower or exercising and you're getting I love that. that. Yeah. So that's a uh, few of the things you can okay. do to like calm yourself down and that relieve stress, anxiety, you know, all of the things we don't want to deal with. I want to do more like cold showers or plunges because so I've just heard so many yeah, but I've heard so many benefits. Yeah. Also, what we're talking about today is related to the music part. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try not to get overwhelmed because there's like so much there's so much about it yeah so feggio frequencies or so feggio yeah you have to mm. it's like an italian term yeah again. there are sets of tones that throughout history have been known to have like healing properties and when you hear people say things like oh music heals me like mm -hmm. that's a real thing mm -hmm. so there's a few different ones that i'm gonna read to you didn't there's you six. tell me what that um churches are built yes. okay this so. is like the hit like just there's so much okay <laughs> don't <laughs> Start in one, one. I'll start with spot what they and are. Go to the other one. Yes. So the first one is 396 hertz, which is said to be good for liberating guilt and fear. Okay. 417 hertz, undoing situations and facilitating change. 528 hertz, repair and transformation or the love frequency. Ooh. 639 hertz, connecting in relationships. 741 hertz, awakening intuition. Mm hmm. And 852, returning to spiritual order. And I think there are lower and higher. These are just the main six. Okay, because I was going to say, I thought 888 was the money frequency. Yes. And this is what, so... You have to vibrate really freaking high for money. Yeah. 
there's they go like up to like 900 so the thing that i wanted to mention was the best way to listen to them mm -hmm. and like where to find them yeah they say the best way is you know set your intentions first so fit like if you want to love or money figure that out yeah have a good set of earphones or speakers they say mm -hmm. the higher quality the better okay and have just like a calming environment mm -hmm. like you're meditating yeah um the only thing is there's two things one there's a lot of like skeptics which mm -hmm. i understand with everything. with everything yeah and two for me the the only we're place... like firm believers in this oh yeah like firm believers we listen to these and also if you want a place to go our uh playlist yes for puppies you can either do send puppies or calm on puppy. spotify on spotify we have healing uh frequencies there yes i love that little bug yes no so the the main place where I, i've been able to find mm -hmm. them to listen to is youtube yeah and the only thing that maybe I'm a little skeptical about is you'll see like the love frequency at like so many different numbers. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if these people actually uploading them know. I think they're just like putting a song on and like for views. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it could be literally anything. Yeah. And yeah. they could just be like, this is the one that'll manifest the love of your life. And it's yeah. just nothing. Right. <laughs> so I just think if you find what works best for you is the only way to really, like, yeah. if you Find one that sounds good when you're meditating. Like, make it personal. Right. Trial and error, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Do you have a favorite one that you have as a go-to? I like, so I, my favorite ones, I obviously like the money ones, mm -hmm. but there, there are some where you can listen to it at night, and these people will upload them to YouTube on a black screen, so it's not like you have a TV glow, mm -hmm. and it's just like this calming zen, like healing music while you fall asleep. I love That's those ones. Smart. Yeah. That's so if so you good. just look up like black screen solfeggio frequencies, mm -hmm. that's the one. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's like bedtime. Oh my gosh, I remember when I um, first started going into like the professional corporate world. My boss at the time told me that he would listen to like audio books and stuff overnight, mm -hmm. and he's like, I don't remember, but I'm noticing I'm picking up a lot of the stuff that was wow. in these books because my subconscious is still listening insane that's so interesting it's so interesting so i'm sure it's super healthy to have those on in the background rather yeah. than yeah i don't know silence and then what you said about the churches is we saw that one guy on instagram who like did the study mm. or research on it yeah the reason churches are like this what yeah. would you say Ar arched yeah arched the, you know whatever like yeah is actually back in the day like when people went to the churches there weren't like it wasn't for the pews they mm -hmm. would lay down and then with the music and the it called? would vibrate or, yeah yeah the way the walls were with the frequencies would vibrate in certain ways for mm -hmm. healing mm -hmm. so church was like a place to heal yeah and also it's like see there's so much like they also say too um when you pray mm -hmm. pray to high praise frequencies because like your prayers are yeah stronger yeah and, like more connected but that's the same thing why they're saying to always be grateful because being grateful is like at such a high frequency it's higher than anything else like love and gratefulness and all of the happy emotions are yeah. high frequency when you're sad depressed which like makes sense but mm -hmm. also it's like if you're throwing a rock in the ocean you're making rings that's like a frequency so the bigger your rock, the more rings you're making. And the bigger your rings are, the more other stuff can come into your rings. So like happiness and the more happiness you give the world, the more happiness will like come into all of your rings. But if you're sad and depressed and you're throwing your rock and it's just this little bloop, bloop, then you're not gonna get anything back. So that's why it's so important to have a high vibrancy. Yeah, but then you have people who are like, well, how? Yeah. And it's honestly, you just have to fake it until it happens. Oh my God. Fake it till you, you make you it. You literally have to pretend. Yes. My post yesterday <laughs> <laughs> about the, the sunflower in the wind. Oh, yes. yes like, yes, yes, that's yes. how I feel so many times. I'm just you like do. almost at a point where I'm like, is this toxic positivity? Oh. <laughs> where you know i'll just be like something sad happens but you know what i'm sure it's a lesson and i'm gonna feel great mm -hmm. but it works yeah 
And I'll be, like in the morning sometimes if I'm like, oh, this is such a bad day or whatever, I'll be like, usually I use my dog because it's just so easy. Like I love my dog with such a passion or like my parents, like I'll just use something that's like such an easy like heartthrob. Yes. And then I'll just think about them and how grateful I am. And then oh, it turns good. to daylight. Yeah. What do you do? I just hang out with Pete. Hang out with Pete, they're watching us. No, I do the same thing. Yeah. And I always tell myself too, like, these negative thoughts are not helping you. No. They're just hurting you. Yeah. And nobody has time for that. No, no one has time for that. (laughs) You know, when we were talking about different frequencies and, like, what we're going to talk about on this episode. Yeah. (laughs) So cute. I looked, I wanted to see, because we also mentioned this when we were out to dinner. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see if there were any studies done where they put like friends or people, family together or something and yeah. tested like the manifestation frequencies together and separate just to see because there's not, by the way, which if any scientist wants to pay us to do it, we're totally <laughs> we're available. We're totally down to do it. Although, I wonder, sorry, I should have brought this up before, but uh, it just hit me now. You know how like Joe Dispenza and his community courses that he has? Yes. He claims a lot that people are healing and whatnot because of the vibration from everyone in yeah. the room. So uh, technically, isn't that, that would count as a study, you know? Well, yeah. They but maybe it's not some as... scientists in there. I'm right. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And I know it's, it's... probably hard to like prove, but yeah. I do feel like our energies, when you're manifesting, mm-hmm. when you're on the same page with like your friends or like your partners or whatever, your loved ones and you're manifesting like that energy has to be higher yeah i mean i feel like every time you and i hang out it's like such a inspirational energy i always feel like i can like take over the world the meme you're an animal (laughs) yeah with the two girls the two comedians an animal i'm not kidding you like you sit down and you're like this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do boom, this boom, and boom 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 and then your energy i'm like yeah we're gonna do it we're gonna fucking do it oh my all. god you're right we're gonna do it or one thing that i hate yeah. when a friend of yours is going through something and you're just not at all in that energy and it's so hard to like help because it's draining but you want to obviously be supportive yeah because you love this person but that can be so draining oh yeah. for sure I know. What was that? Um, My nervous laugh. <laughs> so let's just sum it up. All right. So we have... The Las the, Vegas nerve. The Las Vegas nerve. I was trying to figure out how to pronounce it correctly. And uh, we ended I mean, up calling right. it the Vegas nerve. Yeah, but it's... It is. It is Vegas nerve. Vegas. 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 Whatever. Sort of Vegas. We're not doctors or scientists or whatever. Right. We're, we're, just, we're just here. Badass <laughs> people. Yeah. So we've talked about the vagus nerve mm-hmm. and how to stimulate it through massage, exercise, cold plunges, meditation, and music, such as solfeggio frequencies. Mm-hmm. And you can find those on YouTube or I'm sure at like Spotify, whatever. Yeah. Just find what works best for you. Let us know if it works. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, you, to, to be honest, even if they aren't legit, they are pretty like calming. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah whatever. They are calming. It's... They have nice little like visuals. And it's stuff. almost like those, like the study music. So if you're working but you can't yes. really listen to lyrics, yes. I feel like those are good to have in the background. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's that. that. That's that. And thanks for vibing with us. We should play some right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.